Our question today is martial arts. Uh, what do you wish you knew sooner? So this can be any martial art, jujitsu included. What do you wish you knew sooner? Uh, like, a, like you're talking. Just in general, what do you wish you about knew about jujitsu? Or yeah, any martial art, but yeah, jujitsu. Oh yeah. What do I wish I knew sooner about jujitsu? Let's see. Here. What's something that you think would have saved you? Or um, made your progress a little easier? What do well, you? Oh yeah. Uh, I. That's a tough one. So one of the ones that I I come up with is concepts over techniques. That one goes around a lot. Learning the principles. Learning the concept over just going through the motion of doing the technique. Yeah. And, when and you, you wish you knew to do that earlier. sooner. Yeah. When you first started as a white belt, it's hard to know what you should do. And if you yeah. learn a couple concepts. It can kind of save you through positions that you haven't experienced yet. Yeah, of course. That yeah, makes sense. and yeah. and you can. Uh, I I would imagine you're limited if you're just knowing a technique, and yeah. if you're knowing a concept, you're yeah. you're being able to apply that mm -hmm. much more uh, broadly. Yeah. You know? So if it, for an example, if you know when it comes to guard passing, you need to keep them behind your feet. If they get past your feet, you block with your knees and hands. Right. If they get past those, you know, next step, it's next step. Yeah. And then you work your way back. Right, and that's can. a concept yeah. rather than saying drill this, 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 yeah. Yeah. right? You just apply it. I get that. And so yeah. if you know you need to get a frame, a push, and a pull to get back right. to a safe position, these are things that can take you through, and you'll be, like, stuck in a position. I have no idea of a technique that I need to do. Okay, <laughs> what do I need to do? I need to get an elbow in. Yes, I need to get a knee exactly. in. Exactly. I need to push and a pull. And you can kind of figure I that out it. along the way. Even if it's not great technique, right. you can start progressing, especially if you're going against somebody else who's yeah. not as... And had you known that earlier, yeah. right, you would have... Uh, you, you probably would have been more broad with, with you know, because techniques, like I said, they make you focus on one thing. Yeah. If you're just doing a scissor sweep, yeah. you know, rather than than, than uh, going over the concept of a shin shield yeah. and chopping them and, and you know tipping them yeah. or something, yeah. you know, yeah. you can uh, you can literally end up, you know, not necessarily inventing sweeps, but like discovering different ways. Definitely. You know, through the concept idea. Yeah, I get that. So is there one piece or? Uh, no shoes on the mat. <laughs> no mat before you step no, in the yeah. class. You know, you know, so thinking about it, I'm, I'm trying to look back. First thing I think of when you ask that is like, what, what kind of like hampered me early on, mm -hmm. like in hindsight? Uh, and that would be what I would want to fix, right? So what was that? That was probably being, being really, really competitive. You know, like I kind of cared more about winning. You came in as a wrestler. Know, I came in as a wrestler. Did you continue down that wrestling path when you were in jiu-jitsu or did you embrace jiu-jitsu? I didn't embrace jiu-jitsu right away. I got I had a coach, a professor that did his job and he said, uh, grab that gi a little bit every now and then, dude. <laughs> right? Because I was literally collar tying, around, you know, arm drag, everything was just grabbing, but I wasn't grabbing the gi. And he, and, uh, and he told me to stop shooting in so much, start pulling guard. So my coach did his job, right? He saw, he did the same thing you or I would do with a, a wrestler student who's clearly just you know, it's like, did you come here to learn jujitsu, or did you come here to see if your wrestling can defeat jujitsu? Right, right. And yeah. I think that's kind of what I was doing. I think a lot of like wrestlers... I wanted to learn jujitsu. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like I, I don't, I don't think I realized. I think my competitiveness kind of turned it into that. Yeah, turned it into like, well, I want to see if my wrestling can beat this. And and uh, I think I did that for about gosh, two years. Yeah. So had I not done wasted two years doing that, yeah. clearly my progress would would be better, right? Yeah, that and then also the, the, the idea of, uh, of how much power does it take, yeah. right? You know, do I need to use everything? Like, I, like I made some enemies. I, I had guys in my gym that weren't fond of, of rolling with me as a white <laughs> and blue belt. And I don't like that idea because that's like my worst fear now. Like, my worst fear now would be that I get viewed as a, sh as a shitty role. Yeah. It's like, dude, and I was a shitty role. Yeah. As a white boy, I wish I knew that earlier. Hanging on to the guillotine <laughs> after they've passed or mounted. And oh, yeah. Silly. Like, sque yeah, yeah. like, like just squeezing something because it yeah. might hurt enough to make him tap. Bro, right. how do she? What are the, let's see, Charles P. Fontaine. I'm going to mess all these up. Uh, to get onto his side. So probably playing guard, open guard. Angles, um, he's talking about angling side off control, rather yeah. than like staying flat in your turtle shell. Exactly, because if you're flat on your back, you're pretty much not doing anything. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, focus on the screwed. basics was another one. Yep, don't uh, get too fancy too yeah. early. 
Wait for the right timing. So John Oldine Enos to wait for the right time. Uh, that, not forcing it. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's without, a good one. Without the timing, the position means nothing. Right. And I feel like some of these, I think that they're saying, aren't things that they, they're more things that they grasped. Yeah. Later, right. Yeah. I think those are things that probably they were told, yeah. hey, you got to have better timing. But it, they, they kind of wish that they had grasped it earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because like, I didn't even know I wasn't supposed to come kill everyone. <laughs> I thought I was. <laughs> right? like, like, I feel like, yeah, that, that would almost be another, a separate question. Like, what do you wish you could have grasped yeah. earlier? Right. Yeah. That's like, oh man, I don't know. But yeah, man, all those things are important though. And the earlier you can nail all those down, the better. It'd be a good yeah. idea for people to go through those comments and just yeah. look at them because it can tell you something you didn't even think about. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, okay. You know, apply that right away. There's a lot of etiquette things in jiu-jitsu too, and if you right. do a, a not so etiquette thing to somebody, you might make an enemy. Uh, yeah, uh, etiquette's important. I, grabbing single fingers, little right. things like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I mean, come to that. that, is that I guess that's etiquette. It's almost the IBJF ruling is uh, three fingers. Oh, I more. get it, but yeah. I'm just wondering: is that like, hey, you're being a douche, or hey, you're you're not understanding etiquette? I don't know. What is I think that? it's usually early, <laughs> early yeah. on. People People are in survival mode, right. and they're grabbing whatever they can, and they end up so they're being with a single tweaky, finger. basically, yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah, trying to survive. They're like yeah. grasping at things, and they can get a finger, and they're like, I have the finger. <laughs> okay, right. Get it off of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I think a good one for me would be a uh, knowing when to use my strength, yeah, and when to when to relax and not put forth so much energy. And that's you something know, like, you wish you knew earlier. Yeah. Okay. Like like holding on to something that did nothing, and I'm just yeah. squeezing for fucking dear life, yeah. and it's like nothing. Or like your grips, you know, tighten them up so hard, and it's yeah. like just, just yeah. relax, dude. Like you got them in guard. You, there why are, are you holding on so tight. There are times where you have to fight for that yeah, grip, yeah. Well, but other times, let it go, move to the next. What uh, what's the answer? So because like the things that I wish I knew earlier are things that I totally know the answer to now, and yeah. just wish I did. Yeah. So what's the answer to that? Just so, know, knowing when I can uh, take a rest. When can you though? I'm asking you. Like, 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 like if you say, I want to know. I wish I knew earlier. W you know when to not use so much strength and stuff. When, right? So like it's for hard for to example, it, it is. But like <laughs> yeah. one thing I would do is I'd be in guard and I'm I'm still just, you know, squeezing or holding on way too tight. Right. Or, Blowing energy. Yeah. Or or like a, I'll think I have a guillotine and I'm holding on to it super hard. And it's not and a easy thing. Next up, thing, I can it's, yeah, yeah. Not a good and one, next, yeah. next thing you know, his shoulders in my neck, and I'm getting choked <laughs> out because I right. held on too long. What you know? we were just right. talking about, you know? right. so, yeah. yeah, that's so because strength is like you need it yeah. all the time. Every second of your match, you need to use strength. Yeah. So it's almost like a, it's a tough one, man, right? Like when to use strength, when not to? Well, the answer is you always use your strength. If I stopped using strength right now, I'd go limp on the floor. Yeah. You need a little. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every technique. What I find is every one. people early on use strength everywhere. Primarily. Yeah. Every yeah. single thing is like life or death to them. Yeah. So and then, like when I'm rolling with you, it's different. There's moments, moments, explosive of moments. Bursts. There's moments of you know grip breaker, pass, right. and that sort and of thing. And then there's also though the consistent strength that's never stopping. For example, if I grab your gi, yeah. I'm gri I'm holding on really strong. Yeah. I am using yeah. a lot of strength, all of it actually, yeah. <laughs> all of it that I can muster. But it's also yeah. one piece of your body, and your, the Absolutely. rest of your body might be relaxed. And that's the yeah. challenge, man. You yeah. learn how to like. Flex your left arm and leave your right arm totally yeah. limp in jujitsu, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is not, it's hard to. It is. You know, you tell some people to grab a grip and their whole body just tenses <laughs> up as they grab it. Yep. You know, so yeah, understanding yeah. that would be going, I wish I knew earlier. I do. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew that earlier because I was just like everybody else. I flex my whole body yeah. to yeah. grab a grip. And now I fully get the idea. And you'll see it, you know. I'll just go limp with my head, even on the mat. I'll yeah. close my eyes, even. yeah, and I'm not. And, and it looks so clearly. There's a part of me that's completely relaxed, but then there's another part that's just holding yeah. on, yeah. you know. So learning how to do that would have been would have been awesome to know that earlier. <laughs> another really common one was breathing. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, but. Everyone needs to breathe better, no matter who you are. You, you need to panic breathe breathing in yeah. some people, though, man. Yeah. You're like, dude, yeah. control your breathing. <laughs> it's like, right. whoa. That's there, one that feeling of claustrophobic. Yeah. Oh, oh you, yeah, yeah, you could tell they're starting to, yeah, yeah man. I used to get that, especially with bigger guys. Right. In the next one, we're going to talk about submissions, and there, there's a couple ones that will make you claustrophobic that yeah. popped up a lot.
Yeah, don't smother choke me, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, teaser oh, there. Yeah. Is that in there? I didn't see that. That is know. in there. He doesn't tell us. It was one of the, <laughs> one of the most liked ones. Oh, gosh, yeah. dude. I'm, I'm not surprised. Uh, so thanks for leaving your guys' comments. Uh, leave more. You can follow me on Facebook, uh, some of the groups that we have there. We do have a Belts Off group on Facebook. If you leave the comments there, they may pop up on the podcast. We'll see you in the next one.